What's up guys, it's Maestro BLC, and uh, in this video, I'm just going to give a quick tour around Mac OS X Lion. This is uh, the next major release of Mac OS X, and this is um, just a developer preview, which I happen to get my hands on. Um, so I'm just going to give a quick look around it. So the first thing that we're going to notice is now we have new animations to go to our gadgets, or uh, widgets, um, such as just four fingers over, slide over, and we instantly have this our uh, little widget gallery and then we can add more and just you know do all that kind of stuff so that's the first thing um, you know just those animations expose has also changed a little bit so for example if we open up Safari uh, the App Store I have no idea why the App Store always is out of the middle um, and then we can open text edit and then if we just do uh, three fingers or four fingers up sometimes it doesn't work yeah three fingers up uh, we can see our app store our text edit so it's it's a better version of Safari and we have real-time previews up here um, so we can go to our dashboard go back and then go back to everything else uh, so for example, say we have multiple windows in this, so we can open up our downloads and activity. Uh, what we can then do is go back into expose, and they're all grouped together. So we can see what is grouped to what instead of instead in uh, uh, previous versions of expose, where it was just all scattered. So now we can just go to activity, downloads, go to our main window. So. Uh, another thing is the buttons have changed so you can see that they're quite a bit smaller um, it's not that really big of a deal but it's a substantial change the uh, texture of the menus and backgrounds of menus have changed um, as well as Safari it's it's the brand new one 5.1 which isn't out for any other uh, OS yet so it's only on Lion Next thing is full screen uh, apps. So we can go full screen into this far here. So you can see it, it takes up the entire screen. Uh, do all that kind of stuff. We can go to YouTube, just full surfing experience. What we can also do is two fingers. If we just pull it back a little bit, you can see it pulls up and over and we can see the previous page. So that's how you go back. And you can do it the other way if there's a page in front of it, you know, and then we're done. Now to get out of it, just hover your mouse over the top, and then the menu bar right next to the spotlight icon, you can make it get out of full screen and go back here. It also works with other programs too, not text edit like that or app store, but um, mail will work full screen. So you can see mail is new. Uh, it's sorted by thread now. Um, all that kind of stuff and uh, you got your inboxes and all that kind of things there and it's full screen so that's pretty cool uh, we also have iCal so iCal can go full screen as well as it has a revamp so uh, now you have this little slider and then we'll show more of that when we get to the finder so you can see iCal can go full screen again just minimize that. Now something you can do with full screen apps is when it's full screen, three or four fingers over will just transition it to your desktop. So it'll create a separate space for that. You can see that the menu bar and uh, dock just move out of the way. So that's full screen apps. Let's just get out here. Uh, text edit has gotten revamped so you can see as and you can now choose the fonts up here all that kind of stuff font point your justification it's also in a slider as well so that that's pretty neat uh, as far as there really isn't much anything else than what I just showed you okay I'll close that uh, launch pad this is pretty much what your app screen looks like on your iPad and iPhone and iPod touch only an iPod Nano technically um, but on your Mac so you can see we can just slide side to side if we had more apps and pages then we could do that 
um, we can make a folder so we can just hover over make a group folder we can rename it sometimes it crashes like that um, but you know you, you, you get the point so let's just take that back out of the folder alright then we just click on the desktop and we're back so uh, another thing that we can do is um, well we can show you finder so it's gotten a uh, significant change so you can see all your files now uh, airdrop you can drag something into here and then uh, other Macs around you can uh, take files from this your desktop you know all this stuff um, you got your devices so it things have moved around now there's a slider so if we move this slider around we can change the view so now we're an icon list oops uh, column and cover flow cover flow has gotten a new background so now it's a gradient as you can see so that's finder uh, besides that there's really not much else that has changed like uh, for instance one thing in the stacks though um, if you you used to be able to press shift and click one and then you can click another but now you can't you see it just went slow-mo now um, but unfortunately you can't do that the uh, about this Mac info has changed so uh, well not really changed but um you'll get the point so you can see here that you can see the build uh, processor all that kind of stuff we can go to displays we can see all my video cards and stuff uh, also there's iOS scroll bars now um, so you can just they overlay when they need to and also it's inverted scrolling so up is down and down is up we can also look at our memory how much is in each slot and the speed the support and the service that we need so that's that um, besides that we can just uh, go into applications looking for some other stuff that has changed um, oh address book that's changed has a new interface some people don't like it some people like it I personally think it's cool um, so yeah and besides that really everything's the exact same um, there's versions but I can't really show that that well here um, but that's pretty much all the new features of Leopard. Uh, thank you for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe.